Hi together. Yeah, quite a few people emailed me and asked me to do a review of my sleeping platform. If I'm touring by myself, which is quite often, or just with a group of guys, we usually really uh, do not stay longer than a night at the most spots and continue, uh, continuously going on. So a tent and so on can become uh, quite tedious and time consuming to set up. However, a good night's sleep for me is very important and uh, I actually do not sleep that well um, on the ground or in a swag, unfortunately, because it would be quite nice to just uh, chuck a swag on the roof. That means uh, for me the best solution really is a stretcher tent. I discovered that around four years ago at that time there was only one um, stretcher tent on the market, which was the Austrail and I'm using that ever since. I'm at the second tent now, uh, one of them broke, but Ostent uh, uh, sorted that actually quite uh, yeah, courteously. I'll show you today how quick it is to set up the Austrail um, stretcher tent and as well to put it down and we will discuss some of the uh, pros and cons. The Ostent is a little bit cheaper than the most other ones. Um, the canvas quality is not as good as some of the other um, out there. However, for me, the packing size and the overall package is pretty good. Let me first show you how quickly it is uh, put up. So the setup is really pretty simple and quick. zippers, one zipper at the bottom, one zipper at the top here, inside a couple of pockets, same on each side. So a lot of ventilation, especially in summer if you want, very airy. The bottom. Especially for winter you want to have a good mattress because all the cold air obviously can come from underneath. It has uh, openings on both sides, yeah. Uh, fly screen on both sides. The front can open as well. It comes with two poles, so you can do this. This needs to be tied down here really. Yeah, so overall for me that's an absolute perfect um, quick tent solution. I'm set up within 10 minutes really. As a mattress I use the Thermarest Neo Air. Again, super comfortable. Uh, yeah, pretty good. For the Thermarest mattress I have a little hand pump. So the, this is a Neo Air pump, works, um, yeah, great. And this is a Thermarest mattress, very, very comfortable. I'll show you quickly a bit in here, because it is a combination actually between an air mattress and a thin form, a thin layer of memory foam. Yeah. You can also use it individually. So if you want a lighter package, you could actually take uh, the foam out. And I guess you could also really take out the air mattress by itself without the cover. Very comfortable. And um, that's one thing for winter quite important actually, for the stretcher, that the mattress is wide enough. Because if you have your arms uh, hanging over, I tried a smaller mattress at some stage. And if your arms and so on are not covered, obviously they're not insulated and it's getting fairly cold. That's a Neo Air pump. Oh. 
So the pump will now run for probably five minutes. It runs on a uh, on two AAA batteries. Um, I won't pump it up now altogether, but after you have that run for five minutes, roughly, um, it needs around six, uh, seven full breath to um, completely inflate it. Let me talk a bit about the cons and the pros. The pro is it's pretty cheap. I the cheapest I've seen it was on special uh, recently for $159. Um, it's very easy to set up, very quick. It packs up very compact. Um, for me it's actually perfect because I have ex the exact space in the Defender for it, where it fits. It's very light, which is uh, I guess a pro and a con. Um, because it also means the canvas is fairly light. I have not, I camp with it without an awning or anything on top on a clear night um, if I don't expect much rain. I have never had it in exposed by itself in full blown rain and I would think at some stage uh, it will start leaking. But again, not something I have tested. Um, I certainly had light rain and that was no issue as long as you peg it down. Here, if you just leave it as this, which I often do, if I don't expect any rain, it will start pooling a little bit. But as soon as you um, peg it down here, that water will all run off. One issue certainly is the condensation. And the disadvantage here on the Ostent one is that in comparison to some of the others, which pretty much go out here a bit, yeah, and pack down here and that gives more airflow. This one does not give that much airflow. So I usually leave the rear open yeah, a bit. You will need to have this one open, which I have. Um, yeah, and then it's all right. Unless it is a very humid night, then yeah, you will get condensation in it, especially if you, because it's very windy or so, if you have to lock everything up, expect uh, to have your sleeping bag on top and so on a little bit wet. Um, that is, I would say, the only downside really. Quality-wise, I'm on my second stretcher, but that's over four years and using it extensively. I had one stretcher rip uh, here um, on our Tasmania trip. That means I had to sleep the other way around. I found actually then a replacement though, which I could buy and um, Ostend replaced it without uh, too much hassle. One little tip, I always carry a dry bag with me and if we for example pack in early in the morning and I have no time to dry uh, the stretcher, which is very quick, so drying really half an hour in the wind uh, with a little bit sun or even shorter and it's dry so it's a quick affair. However, early in the morning obviously that's not the case or we have ice on it. So what I pretty much do is I Take first thing in the morning, especially if you get up early, take the fly off because it seems like a lot of the condensation then builds up after you got out or at least start dripping down. So first thing in the morning, get the fly off and put the fly in here. Um, and that means I store that fly separately and have no water uh, issues that all the other stuff is getting wet. I show you quickly now how to pack it back in, I guess. <laughs> The bag is reasonable quality, have seen much cheaper and less functional but as all the bags it probably could have a centimeter or so more space but um, it's actually it's pretty good. And that's it, the review of my touring sleeping platform together with the dry bag and the Neo Air Dream, super comfortable. I mean, I honestly, I sleep, I'd say like at home. Thank you.